Fairy tales are more than true. Not because they tell us that dragons exist, but because they tell us that dragons can be beaten. Have you ever been in love? Horrible isn't it? It makes you so vulnerable. It opens your chest and it opens up your heart and it means that someone can get inside you and mess you up. May your coming year be filled with magic and dreams and good madness. I hope you read some fine books and kiss someone who thinks you're wonderful, and don't forget to make some art, write or draw or build or sing or live as only you can. And I hope, somewhere in the next year, you surprise yourself. Sometimes you wake up. Sometimes the fall kills you. And sometimes, when you fall, you fly. I hope that in this year to come, you make mistakes. Because if you are making mistakes, you're doing something. What I say is, a town isn't a town without a bookstore. It may call itself a town, but unless it's got a bookstore, it knows it's not fooling a soul. People think dreams aren't real just because they aren't made of matter, of particles. Dreams are real. But they are made of viewpoints, of images, of memories and puns and lost hopes. I lived in books more than I lived anywhere else. Stories may well be lies, but they are good lies that say true things, and which can sometimes pay the rent. She says nothing at all, but simply stares upward into the dark sky and watches, with sad eyes, the slow dance of the infinite stars. There are so many fragile things, after all. People break so easily, and so do dreams and hearts. Most books on witchcraft will tell you that witches work naked. This is because most books on witchcraft were written by men. Tomorrow may be hell, but today was a good writing day, and on the good writing days nothing else matters. Being a writer is a very peculiar sort of a job. It's always you versus a blank sheet of paper, or a blank screen and quite often the blank piece of paper wins. Things need not have happened to be true. Tales and dreams are the shadow truths that will endure when mere facts are dust and ashes, and forgot. This is how you do it. You sit down at the keyboard and you put one word after another until it's done. It's that easy, and that hard. Stories you read when you're the right age never quite leave you. You may forget who wrote them or what the story was called. Sometimes you'll forget precisely what happened, but if a story touches you it will stay with you, haunting the places in your mind that you rarely ever visit. You get what anybody gets, you get a lifetime. Because, she said, when you're scared but you still do it anyway, that's brave. I don't want whatever I want. Nobody does. Not really. What kind of fun would it be if I just got everything I ever wanted just like that, and it didn't mean anything? What then? It may help to understand human affairs to be clear that most of the great triumphs and tragedies of history are caused, not by people being fundamentally good or fundamentally bad, but by people being fundamentally people. 